We start this afternoon with a tough firefight in Indianapolis when a building caught fire early this morning, it sent a man to the hospital with some serious injuries. Our Matthew Foltz was there as firefighters faced challenges putting that fire out. He has an update on the investigation into what happened. Well, IFD firefighters spent most of Monday morning responding to a fire here at this building near the intersection of 10th and Rural. Firefighters tell us it sent one man to a local hospital and that they had challenges trying to access the building. The doors were either blocked or chained or padlocked or something, but they had to use uh, a lot of effort and a lot of equipment to get, actually gain access to the structure. It was a team effort as firefighters worked to find a man who was inside this building. Firefighters say the call came in shortly before 8 Monday morning. Smoke showing from the rear of this structure, which looks to be a combination of a living space and a business. The building itself is listed as a flower shop online, but fire crews believe the structure attached is a two-story space where the man may have been living. Firefighters found him in the basement that was filled with smoke. He was uh, semi-conscious. They brought him outside. He has been, uh, he's now conscious and alert and at the hospital getting treatment. Now, right now, firefighters are still investigating what exactly led up to this fire. Of course, any new information we'll be sure to pass along to you at WTHR.com. Reporting on Indy's East Side, I'm Matthew Foltz, 13 News. There are three other fires from over the weekend that IFD is also investigating. Today we got an update on those. The first one happened around 1145 on Saturday night on Shelby Street near Southeastern Avenue. IFD says the building was abandoned and crews got it under control in 45 minutes. Investigators say it was caused by squatters trying to stay warm or cooking. Then another fire happened at 1.30 Sunday morning. This was on Meadowlark Drive. That's near 42nd Street and North Kitley Avenue. Investigators there figured out this fire started in the attic of this vacant home. IFD says they can't rule out an electrical issue as the cause. And fire officials also looking at a third fire that broke out less than 30 minutes later, just before 2 a.m. Sunday morning. It happened at 38th and College. The two-story building partially collapsed, causing some live power lines to go down. Crews were able to get that fire under control in 30 minutes. Investigators saying now this fire was also caused by squatters. Our Lauren Kostick has been digging deeper into those weekend fires, and tonight at 5, she shares the warning from neighbors they say went unanswered.